Hey what's up everyone and welcome back to a new video here on the channel. In today's video we're taking a look at a tool that can be used to find the right influencers for your influencer campaign. So if you are an agency or if you're running a e-commerce business selling products online and you're trying to find the right influencers to sponsor then this tool is going to be the best tool to basically use for all of your influencer campaigns. So this tool is actually from SEMrush and let me just go directly to the platform so you can see what we're talking about here. So the platform or the tool itself is going to be called bus guru which is part of semrush and semrush is a how would you call it it's, a, it's an all-in-one tool for everything digital marketing basically it started off as a tool for seo specifically but since that time it's just grown into this massive company which has a bunch of useful uh, tools for anyone who works in digital marketing now if you are running an agency uh, or if you're just running an e-commerce business and you want to find a good way to find the right influencers to sponsor for your various campaigns or just tracking your overall campaign performance, then this is gonna be the best tool to use. Um, so just getting started with the tool, this is where you'll first land. And, and just to make sure, if you wanna use this tool, you get a 14 day free trial if you use the link in my description. This is a video in partnership with uh, Samrush directly. And if you use my link, you get 14 day for free instead of the normal seven day free trial that you get if you just sign up in general. Uh, so make sure you check that out as well. Uh, but once you're on the Samrush platform, how you find this specific tool is just by going to the App Center and then just searching for Bus Guru. And that's a uh, way you will land on this page right here. Once you're on this page, you can see that you have a bunch of different use cases and examples down here for what you can use the tool for. So you can manage campaigns in one place and get detailed campaign report and statistics, create a media plan for your campaign. You can track influencer performance. Uh, you can get the influencer profile, so just general information about what's going, uh, what's going on with the, with the influencer in general and so many more use cases down here. So as you can see, there's a lot of things you can use, uh, but what I'm gonna do today is just trying to give you a, a good overview of what the tool can do and how you can use it for your marketing objectives. So what we're gonna do here is just go directly into influencer discovery. Under here, we can find influencers on YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, and TikTok. So depending on what platform we're looking to sponsor people on, and we can do multiple as well. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna go to YouTube, once we're on this page right here, uh, we can see the influencers here at the top. These are obviously going to be the biggest one. Uh, so you have the channel name, which you can click to get additional details about the channel. You have the link directly to the channel. So if you click here, you'll just go to their YouTube channel. You'll have their total subscriber numbers, their average views per video, their language, which is in English. And you will also have the average price, which you will have to pay for an integration in one of their videos. You also have the latest videos here as well. So as you can see, even though T-Series is a massive channel, their average views is fairly low. And if you compare it to, oh, sorry, let me go back again. And if we compare this to Mr. Beast, for example, which is a smaller channel, it's still a massive channel, but it's a smaller channel, the average views is 156 million views per video. That is the reason why you're paying more for an integration on this channel because you're expected to get a lot more views and a lot more impressions of your product if you're sponsoring a video on this channel compared to this channel. So even though it's more subscribers, doesn't mean you should be paying more. And if you've worked with influencer marketing before, this is very obvious things. But if, it's, if you're just in the beginning or just starting out sponsoring influencers, this will kind of give you a better idea of what you should be paying per video. It's not only about the subscriber number, it's more about the general engagement for the influencer. Uh, but on here, you can look up any influencer and you can get their specific metrics. But let's just take an example here. Let's just go to, let's say PewDiePie here, for example. If you go on to this channel, you will have the overall statistics for this channel. So total number of views or average views per video, average number of likes what you should be looking at paying in terms of cost and i know this is a massive discrepancy here in the number it's, it's very wide uh, but I'll at least give you an idea of what you should be looking to pay for an integration in one of these videos and you'll also have the engagement rate for the channel in general on here you will also have 
uh, their email directly. So if you wanted to contact this specific channel, you would have the email right here. So you can just send an email directly uh, to get in contact with the influencer. You'll have some additional social media platforms and an overall channel quality for the, for the channel in general. Now going down, there's a lot more things that you can look at. So overall channel growth, how they're doing in terms of distribution of likes and so many other things that you can look at. So this is obviously going to be super important if you're trying to dive in deeper, but I'm not going to dive into all of these statistics right here. They're very self-explanatory. And I think that Summer is doing a good job of just giving you explanations of distribution of likes. If you have no idea what it means, you can just hover over here and you'll have an explanation of what that is. So I'm not going to go too much into detail on those things here. Uh, going down, we have the latest videos from this YouTube channel. We can have the release schedule. So when uh, videos are posted the most often, you also have the video output output frequency. So how often they, they post videos. Um, you have their categories for their videos. So you kind of get an idea of what type of audience is watching this channel. So it's under gaming. So a lot of the people watching these videos are going to be interested in gaming. So that kind of gives you an idea. Okay. This is probably going to be a good idea if we're a gaming company. We want to sponsor this video. Um, going down, we have brand mentions. So brands that this company has worked with, or not this company, this channel has worked with before. So we have PewDiePie official app, PewDiePie's uh, Pixelings, PewDiePie Legends uh, something, PewDiePie's uh, Tuber Simulator, uh, Oprah GX, Oprah GX, PewDiePie and PewDiePot. And then you have some more apps in here as well. So you can kind of get an idea of who has actually sponsored this channel before. Going down to sites, you can see which, uh, which websites or which brands have been mentioned on this uh, channel before. So you can kind of get an idea. Clutchchairs.com has sponsored a lot of videos, it seems like. And total video views for Clutch Chairs is actually 10.47 billion. So this is a massive company in terms of views uh, on this specific channel going down you have some more uh, things down here but nothing too interesting uh, but that is going to give you a good overview of this influencer now if you wanted to include this influencer in your campaign what you can do is add it to your list and this way you can kind of keep track of the influencers that are you are interested in so if you wanted to add this one we can just click here add to list and then we can create a new list we can name this YouTuber Influencer, and then we can do the name here, uh, YouTube YouTuber Influencers for, let's say, our gaming campaign. And then you can add a description if you want to as well, and just a color, I'll just do this one red, and then click Save, perfect. Now, you, if you find other influencers you want to add to this, you can just add them directly to the same list later on. Moving on from influencer discovery, we have campaign management. So if you go to campaign management, there was there will be a demo right here, which we'll be using. So I'm just going to click on to the demo folder. And this is going to be where you can track your overall performance of your influencer campaign. So let's say you're sponsoring 10 different influencers. You want to track, have they uh, posted the video? Do we have we finalized the contract? Have we paid them? Uh, how many views have we gotten in total from all the influencer posts that we have sponsored? All of that can be managed through your campaign management. So we have an example here, uh, demo campaign in folder. I'm just going to click it. And if we go on to this, uh, this campaign, which you can set up manually as well, you can create your own. Uh, we'll have an idea what we're, what we're working on here. So we have eight influencers which are live and released. We have two which have rejected uh, our, our, our sponsorship. We have one which is in draft review and we have one rejected by the client. Uh, we can see our total views of content here as well. So number of drafts and publications in the campaign, one of eight. We can see the views. So the total views were received for the campaign in general. I think 67 here stands for how much we expected to get and 71 is how much we actually got in terms of views. Uh, CPM, we can see we're paying a lot lower uh, per thousand views compared to what we initially planned for and our closed budget and total budget. So currently we're at 2.448 million and we plan to have a total budget of 3.638. So this is something you can customize and set up yourself 
and then this will just automatically update based on the number of views the sponsored posts got and so forth now going down here we have the influencers with which we have worked with within this specific campaign uh, you have a link to the platform which we are sponsoring we have a status of the sponsorship so we can update the status directly so let's say this is a new one let's say we're waiting for a draft approved on approval verbal agreement prepare the contract contract review so much more so this will give you a good overview of what you're doing with the sponsorship and you can also include your team so if you're working in an agency or if you're a massive team working on this influencer campaign this is going to make sure everyone is up to date on what's actually going on with each individual uh, influencer that you're working with you also have the last contact day so you can just update this manually every time you have a contact with a specific person last modified so this will just do it uh, automatically once it's modified so you don't have to touch this one and then you have the format which is uh, which you're sponsoring this influencer so let's say we're doing a pre-roll on a video we can just update it to pre-roll short story uh, two stories whatever it is so you can just update the format directly you have the follower con account which will update automatically as well because it's just based on the data which is pulling average views which you will get from the specific influencer and then you have your cpm expected engagement rate the price which you paid which you can update here as well cpm for the content which you've sponsored and then you'll have the revenue here which you can connect directly within the platform if you wanted to get the revenue which you are getting for each uh, specific influencer as well now if we wanted to remove one we can just remove an influencer right here if we wanted to add another influencer we can just add them as well so we can just search up a name and then we can add them or we can do a bulk add and adding them directly and then on top of this you can also add by list so the list that i just created for the gaming uh, influencers so let's say I completed that list and we created a new campaign right here because this is a demo I can't add um, add my list but let's say we had a completed list we could just import that list directly onto the um, onto the dashboard itself so you would have everything just pulled in here for you uh, going on here we have also draft so this is obviously uh, draft content which is not public yet we have content which, which is going to be the sponsored uh, content that is currently live and how much we spent for that specific post we have links which is a super useful tool because this will allow you to track each individual um, influencers clicks which are, they are driving towards the campaign so you can create a short link and then just share that link with the influencer and if they use that link in their video description you will get the data in here in the dashboard so you can see how many clicks each influencer gets and then finally we have a report over here and this again will just give you a bunch of analytics of how your campaign is doing you can dive into this deeper if you want to and as before you'll have all the information you need for each individual metric if you've never really done influencer marketing before uh, but you'll have all the useful information that you need in here your targeting your platform distribution your youtube performance or performance per platform so you have your tiktok performance and so forth so you have so many details in here which you can be using for your campaign with all that being said we can go back up to search by keyword this again will be finding um, videos or posts by keywords uh, so that way you can kind of find both influencers and you can find content which is trending so you can kind of be the first person to just jump on that specific person and make sure uh, to to make sure they are part of your campaign so if we for example wanted to find something on tiktok we can go to tiktok post right here by keyword and then once this page loads up which will take a few seconds here so once this page loaded up we can actually go down here and search something um related to our campaign so you would know better than i do uh, but in this case let's say we're looking for a gaming we can just search gaming right here and then we'll have all the videos which goes under the hashtag gaming and then we can also add additional filters because you can see this video here has one view is probably not going to be worth sponsoring a lot of these videos but if we wanted to narrow it down we can actually go to filters right here and we can do it by the number of views for example so we want this to have a minimum of 100,000 views and then we can do have shared so how many sh people have shared this video and so forth overall engagement rate publication date influencer country if you're talking a specific country 
uh, broadcasting language and so much more so you can add all the filters you want in here to kind of narrow down your search i'm not going to be too detailed here i'm just added a minimum of 100,000 views and as you can see we have a bunch of video already coming up here and if we click the video right here we'll just open up tiktok directly and we can watch the video if we wanted to and we can also click the influencer down here to get to the influencer's profile as well so if we click this one here it will load up and as you can see, we'll load it up everything here. We'll have information about their YouTube. We have their Instagram profiles. We have everything directly. We also have the number of subscribers, average views, average number of likes, the overall general score of this channel, how much we should be paying uh, for an integration, or at least give you an idea of how much you should be paying. And again, if we wanted to add this influencer, we can just go ahead and add influencer to our list that we already created. So we, let's say we want to add this one, we can just go ahead and add it directly. Uh, but that will give you an idea of what we are doing if you search by a keyword, super useful tool, uh, specifically if you're trying to target specific audiences uh, in specific niches as well. Um, but yeah, let's go over to competitor analysis. So this is perfect if you want to know what your competitors are doing, either if you are running an app or working for an application. Uh, so let's say we are, uh, let's say we are TikTok um, and we want to know what other TikTok like apps are targeting. Let's say we want to know what Instagram is doing in terms of sponsoring influencers. This example doesn't make sense, but I'll give you an idea. Or let's say we are selling gym clothes and we want to know what Gymshark is doing. Um, we can go to discovery brands and we can look at, okay, which influencers are Gymshark sponsoring or for apps, we can look at, okay, which uh, other games or gaming apps are sponsoring uh, these influencers. So if we go to discovery apps, we can actually see that we have a game right here at the top. We have two games. So we have PUBG and we have raid shadow legends. So these are the biggest uh, companies, uh, overall sponsoring videos on YouTube. And you will also have additional ones if you have a higher package on here, which I don't have at the moment. But if you upgrade, you will be able to see a bunch of more uh, applications directly within the tool itself. Um, but going back here, so we have all the apps here. We have the category which they are under. We have their total mentions on social media. We have their sponsored mentions. We have influencers which they have worked with and an approximation of their advertising budget on social media. And if we click on here, as always, you'll get a bunch of more detailed analytics about the specific company, which influencers they are working with, their overall uh, performance. So you can kind of get an idea of when they are sponsoring, um, sponsoring influencers the most. You can see what countries they're sponsoring the most. You can see budget allocation. So you can see that they're obviously spending more money on Twitch rather than YouTube. Yeah, you can see distribution. So obviously on Thursdays and Wednesdays, they seem to have better engagement. So probably that's the reason why they're targeting Thursdays and Wednesdays the most. You can see their influencer uh, categories, which gaming uh, seems like a very obvious choice for this specific brand and a bunch of more details again. So you have all the details you need here. You can also see the influencer here if you want to reach out to them as well, because if you are um, if these companies have worked with, let's say, Hell Hates, that probably means that it works pretty well. And also if they have worked with them um, many times before, let's say they don't, they've done like 10 sponsored videos on this channel, that probably means that it's working very well for them. So if you're running a similar company, it probably means that you should contact them as well and try to get an integration. Uh, but this all here will give you a lot of details in terms of what's going on for this application. And you can do the same by discovery brands as well. So you can see the top websites uh, working with these influencers, what influencers they are working with, what categories they are targeting and all the other information that you would need uh, to do the same or try to at least get an idea of how you should approach your, your influencer marketing. And as before, you need to upgrade your plan to actually use all the, the tool to its full potential here. Uh, but you can get some examples here at the top. So at PlayStation, we can get an idea of who PlayStation is targeting their influencers and their overall spend as well. That is the basics of using this tool. It's really advanced. There's a lot of things to look at. We have some final things. I'm just going to mention list and top. So list is going to be the list that we created throughout. Once you add influencers, all of them will be under here. And then tops, this will just be the top influencers 
uh, on the various platforms. So if you're, unless you're a massive company with a huge budget or a massive agency working with huge brands, this is not going to be super relevant for you. Uh, but this will kind of give you an idea of, on who is the top influencer in, you know, on each platform. So you have YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, and TikTok. So you can just look through the platforms to get an idea of who is in the top and what the they are charging in general. Uh, but that will be the basics of using this tool. Hopefully you found uh, this video useful and if you did, please make sure to leave a like down below. Uh, and if you have any questions on how to use the tool or just any questions in general, leave them in the comments. But as always, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the very next video here on the channel.